are starting a brand new series to go over all of the species of wild bedder from the Splendon Complex. The reason I'm focusing on the Splendon Complex is just because I have kept these guys for years and years and maybe my knowledge and information can give people insight and ideas into how these should be cared for. Although there are many different methods and information that may be different from the knowledge that I'm about to share, but this is the way that Thai breeders have been doing it for years and have found great success in. Some of the methods that I'll be talking about today have been passed down for many generations to different breeders here in Thailand, but obviously most of you guys are not from Thailand and keep these fish in a more modern aquarium. So I'll be talking about different setup guides and how can you care for these guys in your home. But before we get into the aquarium setup and recommendations, let's learn more about the species that we are here to talk about today, the beautiful Betta Imbilis. found in the provinces in the south of Thailand such as Krabi, Trang, Songkhla or Batani. As long as there is habitat, this species can be found throughout south of Thailand all the way across the border into Malaysia. However, characteristics of each location is always different due to the habitat they live in, so some may be naturally larger in size or one may be smaller. Coloration may also differ depending on the environment that they live in. Imbalis are naturally emerald green with iridescent blue along their lower finish and tail. They also have a red eclipse on their caudal and an upside down red water droplet as we call it on the lower part of their anal fin. Only in recent years have people bred them for high quality by selective breeding for a more balanced fin to body ratio as this was done mainly to improve quality in captive bred bloodlines. So quality of wild bedders bred in captivity compared to wild core is no match. Obviously the wild caught will have damaged scale, damaged fins and many missing scales that are not going to grow back due to fighting in the wild. On the other hand, captive bred bloodlines are usually separated before aggression takes place so the fish don't have a chance to actually fight and kill each other. Back in the day, people caught these fish for one purpose only and that was to fight in local arenas and usually fought them to the death and the process of catching, fighting starts over again. And this was done for many generations across all species of wild bedders in Thailand so you could imagine the impact that it had on the population of wilds back in the day. There was absolutely no conservation in place whilst doing this so numbers slowly declined and fish were more scarce to find. On top of this, natural habitats were being destroyed for new farmland and development so their numbers have been at risk ever since. Only in recent years has conservation been a big part in bringing wilds back from wiping out. So for those of you who are interested in keeping better in Belis or other species from the Splendon Complex, here are the recommendations for a budget tank setup that I usually have which will allow these fish to actually thrive in. So firstly, these are tropical aquatic fish so for those of you guys who are in non-tropical climate countries, a heater is definitely a must as these guys do not do well in cold temperature water. Without having a heater, the fins will be clamped and the colour will be very dull for these fish. In most fish tank, a filter is a highly recommended part of your aquarium as it will keep the water clean and habitable for your fish. A sponge filter for wild bedders will do really well since wild actually dislike water agitation, so the softer the flow, the better. Live plants are a must for wild bedders. In my many years of breeding and keeping them, live plants will simply make your fish feel way more comfortable in their surroundings than no plants or fake plants. Since wild bedders usually live in mostly acidic environments, with fallen leaves and branches which you can incorporate into your own setup, I cannot stress enough how much I want people to actually use tannin for their aquarium. Tannin from dried almond leaves are usually what I use and can be bought in most pet stores or online. This will soften water and act as a natural antibacterial medicine for your fish and will help keep their fins very colourful and strong. 
for substrate, sand or soil is usually the best. However, if you cannot afford or cannot get any sand or soil, you can even keep these guys in a bare bottom tank with lots of floating plants and they will still thrive. But just make sure if you have an aquarium that has no substrate, just make sure that you pack it with lots of live plants. Now to the most important part of your tank setup. A tank lid is a must have unless you want to find fish jerky on your floor in the morning as wilds are monsters at jumping. They will find the smallest holes or gap to jump out of. A tank lid made from glass or mesh is recommended. The smallest of holes is a matter of life or death for wild bedders. I cannot stress enough how it is important to have a good lid on your aquarium. I also recommend one male per tank. Splendens are extremely territorial, so more than one male in the tank is not a good idea as they will usually fight to the death. For some reason, in many online sites, videos and forums that mention that better embellis is a peaceful species and can actually be kept in groups or pairs is a big misunderstanding. In my many years of breeding and working with these fish closely, this is a risk that shouldn't be taken lightly as territorial disputes after breeding will always result in a fight. So no, you cannot keep a male and a female in a single tank. If you have found success in doing this, you are the very lucky few who have and I never recommend new keepers to actually try this out. However, in my experience, a full wild bedder sorority will always work well. I can recommend up to 4-5 to five females per tank and they will get along just fine. The ideal tank size for me is usually a 5-10 to 10 gallon tank, but if you are on a very low budget, a 2-3 to three gallon planted nano aquarium is definitely okay. Some people may actually think a wild bedder needs a large tank, however in the wild they rarely hold a territory of more than 3 feet so too large of a tank for them will definitely stress them out. If you are going with a large tank, I would recommend planting lots of high growing plants and having lots of floating plants. For larger tanks, I would recommend a long shallow tank rather than a big and tall. Wild bedders actually dislike deep water and they usually stay near the surface where it is easy for them to come up for air. The sweet spot for pH is around 5.5 to 7. I usually have mine at 6.5 but if you have issues getting your pH down, you should definitely use tannin as it will help with lowering your pH. For food, I usually use frozen bloodworms or frozen daphnia, however if you do have live food, it is always best. For tank mates, any non-aggressive nano fish should be okay, however I do not recommend shrimp because they do hunt this in the wild. Small loaches and small tetras and also snails is what I usually recommend as these go well with wild bedders. So before we finish off the video, here are some pictures of aquariums for wild bedders from my friends, followers and customers to give you guys inspiration for your own tank setup. and if you are here it means that you are probably the people who have entered the competition on our last video so the rule was from last one was just to comment like and subscribe and anyone who did comment on this video will be given a chance to win a wild bidder and we are doing that right now so I com copied the URL here and pasted and filtered out all the duplicate comments the fake accounts and everything and in total we have 339 so anyone of you guys here will have a chance of winning a wild better this app will pick a random name and if you see your name please just message me text me or email me and I'll send you out a free wild better now if you didn't win this one on this specific video now you can actually enter a new giveaway all you got to do is just comment like and subscribe to my channel and we'll pick a winner on our next video i'll do this almost in every single video of mine so best of luck everyone and here we go so it's just picking a random number or random name and the winner is gabriel marquez so this is the account here he has no videos but obviously it's a real account otherwise the filter 
will select him out. So total numbers, date, he comment, comment picker. It's crazy how good they look straight from the wild. So this is a real account here. And he just commented three weeks ago. So yeah, this is the winner guys. And Gabriel, if you see this video, please contact me straight away. Email, um, text or whatever you can to contact me. So I, I know that you won.